we know that tuition for these MBA programs are seventy to eighty thousand dollars, but a lot of the expenses that we don't really talk about or even see are like housing and trips and stuff. How are you thinking about that? Um, that's a really good question, and it's one that I um, wish I think was more clear on like the business school website. So I'm glad you're asking it now. I think tuition is obviously a large chunk of it, but I mean, I would probably say you should add like 20k maybe every year. How that kind of breaks down is um, like a couple thousand dollars obviously towards housing. There's a whole array of housing, like, depending on what your like budget is. Um, you can also do off-campus housing, which I never looked into that, so I don't know that really well. Um, but then they have apartments, that's like a lottery. But like I knew that I was probably going to spend like a lot more on going out to eat. So like I was okay to kind of downsize and get a dorm. Mm -hmm. So I think it's all about what levers matter to you and that you will anticipate you wanting to prioritize spending on. I think that trips are probably the things that account for like, the largest like discretionary spending. And again, it's like totally up to you. And I think I've actually like changed my opinion on them a lot. I think I came in being like, trips are silly. Like, mm. um, of course you like get closer to people, but like, I don't need to be like torching thousands of dollars to just like go party with people. Like, I think I, that was my very <laughs> like hard stance on it. And so the first semester I actually went on a lot more retreats mm -hmm. and I love that because that was, everyone did all the logistics for you. You were not like overwhelmingly tired, whatever, whatever. And like, that was fine. The second semester I actually went on way more trips. And now I kind of like understand the whole hype about them because I do think there's something about being oftentimes in a foreign country where you are out of your comfort zone and where you're all like co-exploring together that I think has really brought me close to people, particularly people who I didn't know and who weren't in my section. Mm. And so how do you quantify how much to spend where? I think that's like on you. Like for example, people in my section flew to London for the weekend and like that's not something I could do, but because I planned way in advance and got cheap tickets, I was able to like go to the Galapagos for a week, you know? And so I realized that it's all about how much planning in advance you do. And also there's so many kinds of trips. You can be particular about which ones you want to go on. So my now updated take is like, I am willing to kind of spend on the trips that I think have a really large, like cultural or like exploration or like adventure um, mm -hmm. component, whether it's Galapagos or like I went to Japan with some students who organized and they were just like went out of their way to like really show us um, their favorite parts about their home country and they like cared so much. Mm -hmm. So like a trip like that, 100% I think I would like want to go on, I think is personally worth it for me. Yeah. But again, it's so much on like, what's your financial situation? What levers, again, are you willing to sort of adjust to make it the math all work out? Mm -hmm.